Palestine went from this to this, and it didn't happen overnight. Up until the early 1900s, Palestine was part of the Ottoman Empire, a religiously diverse land where Muslims, Christians, and Jews lived alongside each other. Then, things begin to change. With the start of the Zionist movement in Europe calling for the establishment of an independent Jewish state, ideally in Palestine, the first wave of European Jews start to immigrate. By the end of World War I, the Ottoman Empire collapses and Palestine is under British rule. It's 1917. Britain declares its support for a Jewish homeland in Palestine. The number of Jewish settlers grow, fueling tensions between the Arabs and the Jews. The violence between the two sides caused Britain to bow out and let the UN take over. The UN approves of a plan to split Palestine into two states. Jewish Israel, Arab Palestine. The city of Jerusalem, which is sacred to Muslims, Christians, and Jews, is now a UN-controlled international zone. Jews accept the UN partition plan and declare independence as the State of Israel. But neighboring Arab countries object to the land takeover. This marks the beginning of the first Arab-Israeli war. Israel is victorious and makes a grab for the land intended for the Palestinian state under the UN. The land gets divided into three parts. Jordan occupies the West Bank and East Jerusalem, Egypt occupies Gaza, and the State of Israel takes 78% of historic Palestine, including West Jerusalem. 700,000 Palestinians become refugees as a result, and the day is remembered as Al Nakba, the catastrophe. It's 1967. The Six Day War breaks out between Israel and neighboring Arab countries, and by the end of it, the map looks something like this. Palestine is now fully occupied by Israel. Despite the absence of a formal peace treaty, things start simmering down. Then Israelis start settling into Gaza and the West Bank, resulting in an Israeli-Palestinian struggle that gives rise to the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization. Their main goal? To liberate Palestine from Israel by any means necessary. Fighting goes on for years. The PLO eventually accepts dividing the land between Palestine and Israel, but the conflict doesn't end there. More settlers make their way into Israeli-occupied Palestinian territories. The international community considers this illegal. The frustration of the Palestinians leads to an intifada. As a result, Hamas is born, a political movement determined to fight against Israeli occupation of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. The United States, Israel, and the PLO sign the Oslo Agreement to split the West Bank into three sections. Area A, under full Palestinian control. Area B, under joint Palestinian-Israeli control. And Area C, under full Israeli control. But the solution creates a problem. Area C contains the majority of West Bank's agricultural land, water, and minerals. Palestinians have limited access to these. Further peace talks prove unsuccessful. Palestinians lose hope, resulting in the second intifada. And Israel begins building walls and setting checkpoints to control Palestinian movement. It's 2005. Israel withdraws from Gaza, but continues settlements in the West Bank. Hamas gains power in Gaza and splits from the Palestinian Authority, seeing it as being too secular. The West Bank and Gaza are now under separate leadership. Israel imposes a blockade restricting any form of movement by land, air, or sea. It's 2017, and this is the current situation of Palestine. There are solutions on the table, but will we see them implemented in our lifetime?